Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to create another art journal, but before that, um, this is a, a second volume uh, of uh, the video series that I'm preparing uh, to help you start a, a blank page because it's one of the most frequent questions that I was getting. Where do you take your inspiration from? But how do you start? Can you take us one step backward? And uh, I did one of those videos, which I'm going to link uh, up in the corner and down at the description area, uh, where I showed you uh, one of my uh, methods to get inspiration or help, my, help myself to start a blank page. Sometimes you might have a clear idea, but sometimes maybe totally clueless uh, or you know there is something in our mind but can't shape it doesn't matter we all need inspiration from somewhere it's quite normal and um, I'm going to show you a few types of things that I do to inspire myself to start a blank page um, and today I'm going to focus on a focal point how a fo finding a focal point can help you design the rest of your page um, and one of the very frequent things that I reach for for a focal point is scrapbook papers and by scrapbook papers um, I actually have a specific route that I follow first of all um, scrapbook papers help me not have a background to scrapbook on it for me they provide mostly focal points sentiments or um, images that can complement my uh, art journal because I'm not a scrapbooker but I love using paper uh, to cut them and uh, use the focal points on it and this is a really cheap way of having images as well rather than stamps uh, for example let's say you buy a stamp Penny Black, Tim Holtz, whatever they are really expensive actually, like 15, 20 pounds here. My paper artist stamp is 20 pounds here, I don't know. Um, and uh, these actually, uh, let's say it's 20 pounds. Uh, these papers are actually under a pound, uh, like if you buy one only, like this. And um, also in the US, I saw in Michaels or Hobby Lobby, it, it, they are really cheap. Uh, so for me also economically uh, I reach out to these as well as rice papers, napkins, you can think of paper in one bucket although I'm going to um, focus on scrapbook papers today. Um, so let's say if you buy like five a month which makes five dollars uh, before you know it you will have a lot of scrapbook papers like these papers and you can use it multiple times with different projects some of them you can use it once or but most of them you can use uh, many times so also I just wanted to give you another point of view how you could spend your limited budget uh, on something that would be cheaper and provide you um, also inspiration uh, in terms of colors as well so that's something to think about I'm not saying don't buy stamps but uh, economic I think it makes a little bit economical sense as well which is an advantage to buy these papers um, in my point of view so I'm going to, I'm not going to go through all my stash to, sh to show to go through all the scrapbook papers that I have rather than that i selected a few colorful ones different colors and different styles uh, to have a look uh, at different brands as well uh, and see what will inspire me now um, and to give you ideas how you can think about them um, so i'm going to go through a few of them uh, explaining you what what inspires me and why uh, it's very easy actually to look at a scrapbook paper and design a page for example this is from graphic 45 lost in paradise collection and it's flamingo lagoon say i look at this i mean there are a lot of opportunities i could cut these flamingos and it shows you a scenery actually again you can use i can use these uh, 
for example I could cut these put it on one side I could use the stamps on the other page or next to these flamingos and because there is postage you could say like take me to paradise uh, some tropical message the colors are here uh, there are flowers also you could cut and use them uh, you could make like a blue sea a lagoon uh, and then draw your own leaves use other leaves it helps you a lot to create a scenery actually um, not only gives you focal points so this is very beautiful it al already inspired me to do a flamingo page but let's keep going um, and when I buy my scrapbook papers I really look for focal points in them not only beautiful colors at the background this is how I shop not everybody needs to be the same but I'm giving you my op opinion and this is another one uh, from Bobani, an old one um, it says the avenues, avenues doors and there are doors here and doors like, and big doors that can be used on art journals which are great focal points actually I actually used um, something like this um, I'm going to link uh, that video down below um, creating a door that opens uh, it gave me that idea when at the time uh, I said oh there's a door but we could cut in the middle and open it and then there can be a surprise message inside so that's how I designed that page and the colors were similar to this uh, also I think I got inspiration to do something blue on it uh, so th for example here there's a color combination inspiration you can take this do the background blue this blue and then your page would match perfectly with this design and cut in the middle open the door and have a very creative page so and this is very subtle for example you could do the background very dark make it stand out and there is another color inspiration here as well uh, yellow uh, and kind of dark green this is um, you could do the background again dark and make this yellow stand out so this for example if I buy this like one pound I have one two three many four five six six doors and windows to use so actually it's very economical and there is another one from I think this is Stamperia yeah must be Stamperia um, the maps map I, li I really like map scrapbook papers because map you can do anything you can do a travel page you can cut them in any way to add images to your page and it inspires you for example when you look oh I could make a travel page uh, and there's even your sen sentiment here uh, you could cut these in a way to have the symmetry in your two pages um, and do the background brown make this stand out so it gives you those ideas there, there's already a color scheme here you could make dark green this is like very really light green you could make the background dark green and this is another one from 13 arts and it's two sided and one side is these colorful butterflies and there are a lot and the other is black and white uh, you can use this several times see i bought it years ago and still i'm using it and it gives me a lot of inspiration like you could this is a grunge look so it already gives you the idea of oh I could do something grungy maybe use black white beige at the background and make these butterflies pop with their yellow and red or you could use these with a very colorful background and make these pop or you could do a black and white page directly like look at the background there is a stamp script 
so you can just if you are totally out of ideas you could make a black gesso uh, use some embossing uh, powder with a script stamp make a very nice uh, background like that and use these butterflies and add a sentiment and you have your page um, and the same I have like uh, very colorful butterflies here this is from graphic 45 as well nature sketchbook collection I cannot link all these uh, papers because I bought them years ago uh, I have a lot so I stopped buying for a long time uh, so apologies for that uh, but uh, I'm showing you names if you can google and find somewhere um, I made a page with these butterflies before also I'll try to find it and put them below um, if I have pages with these papers I'll put them down, down below so check them out um, I used different different ones made the background blue uh, I think a little bit different blue than this but uh, I saw that it was looking really nice over blue and made it blue made a different border and only put butterflies in the middle this also helps you uh, to complete your pages like if you have another yellow let's say we use see we have this yellow door and let's say we made it open from the we cut it it will open how nice it would be if a butterfly was coming from inside so these colors are matching very nicely or even let's say a smaller one yellow it gives you the idea like when you look at it you could make a picture uh, make a story in your mind uh, when you look at these images because they are images it's easier to make your story that's my point and also they have color so your job is easier when there is image and color in front of you um, it was uh, like that in my first video too we found some color combination and then some, some imagery stimulation that allowed us to create our page um, and then there is another very nice flowers it is from Kaiser Craft and Kaiser Craft and Graphic 4 to 5 are my one of my favorite uh, paper companies um, this is golden grow collection as I said I'm not buying the whole collection I go through the papers I see like because some of them are only backgrounds like this so when I look at this it's very nice for scrapbookers or I can rip it off and use it in the background or on tags I'm not saying it can't be used but my way of selecting is I want some focal images so I love these uh, flowers actually it gives me the idea of when I see this kind of yellow like bitter yellow um, I love to combine it either with a very dark green or very dark blue like navy blue and reminds me of one of the tags I've done with Dina's uh, sprays so actually I'm totally inspired now to use these flowers probably I'm going to use this because I, I since I made that tag I wanted to do that color combination again and these flowers are perfect for that um, see uh, it definitely gives you inspiration and there are butterflies pears different images um, you can use this several times and another beautiful one from Kaiser Craft. This Indigo Skies collection is one of my favorite ever because blue is my favorite color and it has a watercolor look. Um, I could use these things, these flower bunches in three, four, five pages for sure. It has a very wintry look for example in winter. It doesn't need to be winter but yeah it's very beautiful I'm, I don't want to use blue now but it's, it certainly gives ideas 
and here's another uh, from graphic 45 this is a re recent collection actually kaleidoscope collection uh, and it's this one is specifically rainbow of color and I bought this because it had very nice sentiments in a strip and I love these elephants that are colorful so I thought maybe I could make a black background and I could use these elephants in one corner of the page and use the sentiment as well so they match so that's how I wanted to use for example you could use these zebras in another style you could make borders from this um, scrapbook uh, paper very easily you could use these um, peacock feathers for example this can be in one corner in one um, edge this can be in another edge there is another one as well yeah there are many uses of this and you cannot use all the images in one for sure um, and there is a very nice sentiment here imagination is more important than knowledge which is very fitting to what we are doing here so I think it's very important to stimulate your imagination uh, with some uh, ready images if you're having difficulty or not uh, in general so I think um, I hope this was useful this was just to give you another idea that papers, ready images, colored already um, to me are more stim stimulating in your stash you don't need to go buy I'm sure you have some papers in your stash um, are, these are more stimulating to me uh, than like black and white images uh, when I especially am having difficulty so yeah for today I think I am obsessed with that blue yellow combination so I'm going to go with this for the rest but yeah I have a lot of ideas even uh, looking at it together with you uh, explaining you how you could look at these papers I hope it was useful now let's create our page hello I'm back again uh, you can tell that this is another day I couldn't create that day but uh, another day it's okay um, so as I said uh, I'm inspired to use similar uh, colors that I used in my tag before uh, but I definitely took inspiration from these beautiful uh, flowers which are like mustard uh, yellow and I'm using three colors from my Dina Wakely is uh, sprays uh, that I showed you before night marine and olive olive is like a um, uh, olive green but it's light olive green so it's close to the mustard yellow that's why I chose this spray actually I didn't prepare my page with gesso or water uh, I'm just directly spraying because I like this spray um, texture that uh, creates at the back and I'm using these co three colors until I'm happy with the look of it and I, uh, I just air dried it I waited a little bit until it's dry and it looks really nice uh, it dried organically and uh, I love the look of it there's already a lot of texture at the background which I love so I have the flowers that I cut uh, from the scrapbook paper that I showed you and uh, I thought gold might go well with this page so I took my gold ink uh, from Liquitex uh, and I'm spraying some water over them because these sprays, uh, Dina sprays are acrylic they dry permanent which is fantastic so I can do whatever I want on top of them I just watered the ink down a little bit and I'm dabbing it with my baby wipe to create some textury background behind my uh, flowers where I plan to stick them and I took this iridescent paint uh, from uh, Arteza which is lime green I'm just uh, doing some splashes at the back as well I just want to give some detail at the background you could use stamps, stencils, whatever you want or you could splash gold it's all good after it's dry I'm just uh, using my matte medium uh, to glue them down 
By the way, uh, you could use metallic uh, gold acrylic paint as well. Uh, it's all fine. Uh, I just used uh, whatever is closest to me or easiest at that point. Um, and I'm just uh, uh, sticking down all my images in a way that they look uh, like a bunch together. And I uh, also cut down some uh, green leaves as well from the same scrapbook paper. As you can see, uh, it, uh, my job was really easy. I'm keeping it simple uh, as I want to in these inspiration videos uh, to show you uh, it can be really simple if you have your uh, images uh, colored and ready. Uh, you could like just complement it with a nice background uh, and have a very beautiful uh, art journal page. Uh, I just decided to use this uh, night color uh, to complete the white areas uh, I thought it was uh, looking nicer like that and uh, I have this sentiment uh, from a sticker collection it's from Kaiser Craft and it's called Time Machine uh, sticker sheet uh, I bought it long time ago uh, I'm not sure if it's still available but it doesn't matter the point is uh, the colors matched and also since I have this uh, concentrated flower bunch on the right side I just wanted to have a long sentiment on the other side to balance things out you could write this yourself uh, just uh, I'm making sure this doesn't fall off later I'm using matte medium to stick it uh, good uh, this is uh, gold uh, acrylic paint, uh, heavy body acrylic paint from Arteza and I decided to use this uh, stencil from Caravel Studio with a finger dabber uh, to give a very subtle uh, background uh, at the back um, since the background is already busy I don't want to complicate it more but I just wanted a little something, a little shine so I'm using this gold paint uh, with this beautiful stencil uh, which is uh, which looks very elegant um, and since I'm using a metallic paint it's actually uh, transparent uh, so it's not even covering uh, all the background it just gives an extra uplift <laughs> let's put it that way actually when I was looking through my videos to find the others I found another tag that I used with I made with these uh, flowers and the same color combination which is uh, weird uh, apparently I love this color combination so I'm going to link it down below as well which will be another inspiration for you uh, finally I decided to do the white splashes to give a little uplift and lightness to the page so I think I'm done uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you ideas on how to start uh, this blank page and uh, find inspiration in other places uh, and I hope you liked the end result check out my uh, other videos that I will link down below at the description area for, to find more inspiration if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe like or comment don't forget to follow me over Instagram too to see other inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, stay safe, happy and healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.